a lot of people have turned to the old SKS Type 56. I remember when these guns were selling for $59 a piece. We'd buy them by the crates. Then they went up to $79 and $99. Now, if you can find one for $300 or less, and they're going to continue to go up in value. So, for one thing, it's just a good investment. But it's also a good investment to protect your family and for self-defense. Shoots the same round as the AK-47, 7.62 by 3.9. Ammunition runs about, uh, I think, uh, about 500 rounds for around $150 for the real inexpensive surplus stuff. But if you want to get in on a base level semi-automatic rifle that's military, battle proven, I think this is a really good setup. And then also, and this is one of the things I want to feature, is the SKS Bandolier. You can pick these up. These were at Cheaper Than Dirt for under $4, but now I believe they're about $11 from all the sources I've found. This is a Chinese military issue. Holds about 200 rounds of ammunition. Or you can hold 180 and put your cleaning kit in one of the uh, compartments. Now you can see the uh, SKS is a box-fed uh, semi-automatic rifle. This is the extension of the magazine. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how to load the strippers. Uh, just pull the bolt back. It'll lock back. On the bolt here, this little uh, indentation, the stripper clip fits right directly into that. As you can see. And then what you do is, you just feed the rounds. And they go directly in. Now, when you pull your stripper clip out, there's still the bolt retention. Then what you do is you pull back and you charge the chamber. Now to release these I have this gun on safety but even regardless you always want to have this pointed in a safe direction. This rifle is pointed in a safe direction and it is fully loaded but if you'll notice the safety is on. Now what to do to release this first thing you do is is you release this little lever right here and it dumps all the rounds out. Now, you've got a round right here in this chamber. So what you want to do is, is pull back, release the round. Do it again. Make sure that your chamber is empty and that your magazine is empty. Which The magazine is still in the released position. Gun's still on safe. I would not recommend doing this indoors unless you have a very safe place to do it that if a discharge did happen it would be no consequence. Now strippers are not required to load this weapon. Uh, you can actually take the rounds and place it directly into the, the magazine as you can see. It will hold 10 rounds. There are a lot of aftermarket magazines, some that will hold 20, 30 rounds. Uh, from what I've heard, the Tapco uh, 20 rounder works very well. But uh, in fact, I, I do want to mention Tapco. They do carry a lot of great SKS accessories. They're made here in the USA too, and that helps with compliance uh, for uh, your rifles. A lot of times, if you're modifying an imported SKS, uh, it has to be as though it could be imported that way. Tapco is a great source for SKS parts, stocks, and a lot of other things. But I wanted to make sure that you knew that just the stripper clip was not the only way you could load this right. Each one of these stripper clips, they're metal springs. They hold 10 rounds each. It can be a little tricky to load, especially when you're behind the camera. <laughs> but they slide in one at a time. But they retain the rounds very well. I'm not going to load the whole thing just here in front of the camera. But they load like this. Makes it a nice little uh, uniform package. Most of these pouches that I've found have been unissued. And typically because they've been packed away and stored, the, pack the uh, pouches themselves can be a little bit disfigured. So you're going to want to uh, make sure that 
you kind of stretch it out a little bit, what you do is you put one stripper clip in. Now, be sure not to push on the rounds because that can actually push them out the other side and then you'll have loose rounds on the other end. And then here, I'm going to put the other stripper in. So it's a nice little tight squared off fit. Have this wooden uh, little catch here and it just slips over it. Holds very nicely. Now the pouch is adjustable. Here it's fixed in the front and it comes up like suspenders and then it'll crisscross across your back. On the end, as you can see here, you have the adjusters. You can pull this down. Typically the ones I've found have always been adjusted kind of a small size. There's your adjustment right there uh, and then the back just ties on. Now I did notice that this end pouch is larger and it had some discoloration on it and it also has a kind of a looks like a rain repellent up here so this may be it's a little bit larger than the others also so I think this actually is for a cleaning kit um, so this is probably where you want to put your cleaning kit. It goes around the back because it's something you wouldn't need in a bad situation. But um, that's going to be your cleaning kit. Here again is your adjustments. I've adjusted them. I think these on Cheaper Than Dirt were going for $3.96. But now I believe, uh, I guess a lot of these have run out and they're running about $11 a piece. I bought this at the gun show last weekend and I think I paid 5 bucks for it. So if you can find them really inexpensively grab them otherwise um, you know you should be able to get them online pretty simple okay I'm going to show you how to put the pouch on best thing to do is just to slip it over your head slip your arms through kind of a nice suspender effect here now you're going to want to tie it down and this will crisscross across your back and here you can just tie it up Nice little bandolier set. All your ammunition is right here in front of you. The weight's dis distributed because of the straps. You're ready to go. Here's your SKS, of course, safety checked. You'll want to practice getting these stripper clips out to be more efficient. Pull them out, and then you can load them. Just be familiar with this. And a lot of times, people that are on a budget are looking more and more toward an SKS. Uh, instead of more of the high dollar AK or one of my favorites, the AR-15, uh, and putting it into a nice rifle and a decent amount of ammunition. This is not one of the high-tech uh, weapons vet, load-bearing vest or anything, but it sure does fit the bill. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic.